All right, today we have a presentation on Win-UFO. This is the window version of Kane. Uh, we have uh, James Bush, myself, and... I'm James Waltz. And this is our presentation. Uh, we're going to begin um, by going into the for, uh, UFO app. Um, this can be used from a CD or you can have it downloaded on a USB and you can access it through that way. So this is truly a, a portable uh, forensic tool um, that you can use um, from computer to computer. Um, now the first one that we're gonna uh, present today uh, is the last activity view. So last activity view, when you open it up, this is what you're gonna see. Um, you can scroll up and down with it and you're going to see all the different files that that are in this this little window right here so um the the information that's gathered is gathered from the registry um the event log of windows the prefetech folder of windows and also the mini dump folder of windows in relevance to this um along with the ability to view logs and monitor movement um, this monitors applications open. So if you were a CEO or a president of a company and you wanted to, you know, you wanted to see what was going on within your organization and what was being done, um, then the forensics investigator could go in and open these applications and monitor uh, what was being done and then report that back to you as the CEO or the president. Okay, the next one that we're going to view is the uh, recent files view. Uh, in here, uh, you know, you get a uh, clear representation of uh, all the files that have been opened um, uh, recently. And, you know, it, it gives you the extensions that are being used, um, what folders these are in. Um, what time it was opened, I mean, up to um, the day, um, the year, you know, the hour, the minute, and the seconds even of being opened. Um, you know, it gives you any time it was modified, so you can see if uh, it's going to be modified um, and then put it back in there. Um, so this is a very useful tool. Um, to have um, the recent files, you know, it opens, it, it gathers all files that have been opened in Windows Explorer or any type of standard open slave um, save dialog box. Um, you know, this allows you to view all files that are being opened up on this system. Um, this is good for forensics because you know uh, you look and you see what files are being looked at. Um, what's going on, uh, you know, in that perspective, um, so you can get a clear representation um, whether, you know, they were downloading or viewing um, harmful information uh, or inappropriate information at the workplace. Next is going to be the uh, USBD review. Uh, when you open up the main page, um, right here, this is what you'll see. Um, you can open it up, um, create a date, uh, the last plug-in date, um, vendor, it offers serial numbers, all that kind of stuff. And um, the, the USB um, D review allows the user to view all the devices that are currently connected to the computer through the USB and also past devices that have been plugged into the USB. Um, as I previously mentioned, uh, it allows you to uh, look at the device information, um, serial numbers, time and date, um, all that kind of stuff. It also enables you to disable and enable um, the USB devices. This, this comes in handy um, as a forensics investigator when you need to go in and view something that has been um, connected to the computer through the USB ports. Um, and also another feature of this is it can be monitored um, elsewhere as long as you have a password. Yeah. Also with this, uh, it's good to note that, you know, as a forensic examiner, um, you know, your USB 
uh, the device um, connected, it could be something that is uh, taken. And uh, this, uh, you know, when you're plugging in a USB, is generally to take some sort of information or put something on. Um, so this gives you insight to whether the user has been putting something on there or has been, you know, um, take stealing files, um, bringing them home or for espionage purposes, um, you know, for other companies or whether government purposes. Uh, so it's a good thing to monitor um, what devices are being plugged in to this device. Um, now, the next one that we're going to go to is uh, the FTK Imager. Uh, you know, you click on it. Uh, it asks you, you want to make an alteration uh, to C drive that will be deleted um, upon close. Um, so in here we have um, the FTK Imager, uh, which is made by Access Data. Um, you go through, and you can add evidence um, items. You know, add all attached devices to this computer. You can mount an image. Uh, you can even create disk images. And, um, and this is something that, that we should all know something about, seeing that we've had to, to play with it for a few assignments. So everybody should know, you know, relatively certain things about what FTK Imager does and, and how it operates and all that. So here we don't have um, an image file, but we're going to look at the uh, physical drive, um, you know, being able to look at this drive, um, you can tell a lot from what's going on. I won't dive too deep into it because it contains uh, personal information, um, but just showing some of the capabilities. Um, you know, in here, we, uh, we, you can see all the partitions that are on here. Um, going in, you know, you, you can expand and, uh, see what's going on and then you know this is part of the root you know it gives you all the current files and everything in there um you know if you look at the program files perf files um you know the users um seeing pretty much everything that is on this drive you can analyze it um search for anything incriminating um you know so Having this is, is very handy uh, as a, uh, a forensic examiner. Um, it provides so much insight into what is being done. And this allows, you know, it allows you to create a disk image. Um, and so you can save it. Uh, so none of the files are altered and you can go through and, uh, you know, methodically um, analyze uh, the uh, disk image uh, for any incriminating or evidence that could be logged um, and used at a future date um, for crime, justice reasons or um, perhaps, you know, nothing at all. But it's better to be safe than sorry, you know, have all of these and be able to manage um, the items. Now, Wind dash UFO is such a great tool. We've only dug deep into four of these, but there are so many different uses and abilities for it. Uh, it's really uh, a great tool. It's free. So anything that you use, you know, is having your arsenal. Um, you just put it on a USB drive and you're able to do so much. Um, was just a small application. Uh, so any forensic examiner should have this tool. I agree. All right, and that was our presentation. Thank you for watching.